Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch once again and I keep getting asked over and over again Aaron what's going to be your season starter what are you going to start off with and if you know which you probably do that is going to be Necromancer I'm going to run my fire Necro but a lot of people are asking me for tips and what they think based upon play style so for this video because even though I main Necro I have made 52 build guides over the last three years for Last Epoch. So I'm not just a Necro player, I have played everything. I'm going to give you my favorite build, at least starter build, for each class in this video. And on the screen right now is the first build we are going to look at, and this is my Mage Sorcerer Be Like Raiden. Any Mortal Kombat fans out there, not only is this build fast at leveling and doesn't require any uniques, it is also very glass cannony. So since you're playing multiplayer, maybe you can have some friends tank for you and you could sit back and just light everything up. Also, lightning, if you've seen my skill upgrade video, is going to look awesome from a VFX standpoint. So if you love looking at pretty skills, if you love being that spell glass cannon, I always compare this to like Archon mode in D3. My Be Like Raiden build might be the one for you. It is linked in the description where I break down every single facet of the build. And of course, if you have any questions, you could always join the Discord. Raiden. Build number two. This is my Unstoppable Paladin. And it's probably my second most popular build I've ever made. I think I have five different iterations of this build. If you like Sword and Board, if you like being the party tank and being able to take a hit, this is going to be the build for you. It is a paladin build, and it is a guaranteed crit build that you are using Rive with. Now, what's so cool about this build is you have maxed resistances. You've got armor. You've got block. You've got crit avoidance. You have endurance. You have multiple survivability mechanics inside of it. And as you can see on the screen, it also does a lot of damage and has one of the best movement skills in the game. This is the build that I've actually had the most requests for to make an update for for 090, which of course I am going to do. So if you love the tank play style, if you like Paladin, if you like being a holy warrior in Etera, this unstoppable Paladin is going to be the build for you. Moving over to build number three. Now, when you're looking at Rogue, you have Marksman and you have Blade Dancer. And I've got my Poison Ivy build. I've got my Shotgun Marksman. And when I was thinking about it, what build is the strongest that has no gear requirement? And I landed on my Shadow Master. This build is so strong, so fast. And not only is it good against single target, it is also good at clearing large areas of enemies like you can see in the video in front of you. And again, it requires no uniques. Now, if you never played Last Epoch before, Rogue is one of the fastest classes in the game. It is also the newest class in the game, so it's got all the shiny bells and whistles, and it is designed just better than the other classes. And Last Epoch, or 11th Hour Games, has been trying to make the other classes look as good as the Rogue. So if you like speed, if you like damage, if you like being that assassin style class, my Shadow Master will be the build for you. And again, it is linked in the description. You join Discord if you have any questions. And if you like Shotgun Marksman or Poison Ivy, those are also builds that you can take for Rogue. But I like this one the best. Build number four. This is my Primalist Druid Hive Queen. And this is another minion build, but it's also a transform build. So if you like Werebear, if you like Spriggan, if you like transforming into something different, in this case you are transforming into a bug, this might be the build for you. You use Locus, you kill your own Locus, making a swarm around you, and then it becomes basically an endless run, where you're just running and everything is melting around you. It is a really fun build. And what's great about Druid is you could always transform your mastery into something else later on. So if you want to go Werebear, if you want to go Spriggan, it basically is a mastery that has sub-masteries under it. Or you can go multi-form. Now, 
this hive queen, you make locusts. And they're little flying minions that run around. You see them all behind me in this video. And they are very fast hitting minions. They are also fairly newer to the game. So they've got really good AI. So if you like Endless Run, if you like Transform, if you like minions and the ability to switch this class later on, Hive Queen is going to be the build for you. The only build that I almost picked over this is my Nutcracker, but that requires the Squirrel Helmet Herald of the Scurry, and that's a pretty tall order for you to find those. They do drop fairly often, but the only way that build works is with that helmet, and I want to make sure I'm not giving you any builds, you know, that require unique that are hard to find. Hive Queen, number four. Build number five, Acolyte Necromancer Fire Necro. My 10th iteration, and I know I sound like a broken record. I know I've already showcased this build and talked about it and already put it in my Necromancer season starter, but this video is my favorite starter per class, and this is my favorite build for Acolytes. You gotta hear about it again. Necromancer is getting a big update for 090, not only for performance, so you're not going to lag down games as much or really see that necro lag. It's also going to be prettier with the new VFX. We got a new golem. You have my new unique armor coming into the game. The AI is improved. Damage over time is improved. And the one item you need for this build to sing is a common drop. I cannot sing my praises enough for the synergy and how well this build does. So if you like zoo style, like having a larger, kind of larger size army, this is going to be the build for you, my 10th iteration Fire Necromancer. And by the way, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, we're going to be running multiple multi-party groups or multiplayer groups. We're going to be doing a race for the first one to find my unique, and you still got a day to sign up for that. Lots of different giveaways. It's going to be a really good time. So that's the video, my top five. Favorite season starters, okay, for 090 for each class. If you have any questions, hit me up in Discord. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out. Mm -hmm.